Hey buddy, it's 54 News Star, and today we're going to be dealing with more Copper Cube. This time we're actually be working inside of a game. Uh, well, we're, we're going to kind of keep it limited so we don't get too overwhelmed. It's going to be a zombie game, and we're going to be just basically shooting them. Now we can rotate the camera to see where they're coming from, and then shoot them, but we can't exactly move around. It's more like defend the castle type setup. So I have some textures that I'll be, I'll be linking down below, and these are the ones. They're like a sci-fi base type setup. We're going to be doing multiple maps, but the first one's going to be basically a sci-fi base. Um, we're also going to be dealing with some um, mobile assets from Open Game Out, Open Game Art that are really really nice. And then there's going to be a uh, some weapons from Unity that I'm going to be using, but there's uh, tons of free ones that you can also use um, out there that I'll also be linking down below so there won't be just limited ones okay so in our copper cube game it's going to be working on Android so yes this will this game will be on Android so for those guys who want to develop and put it on Amazon Android store free Android uh, or um, we call it the Google Play Store this is you know this is going to be the full process so we're going to make the game we're going to upload it to the Android App Store uh, later on. Um, I'll probably do a, a iOS port of it. But hey, we're going to kind of keep it to just Android for right now. And um, that's about it. So let's get started. So I want to keep the the game like, like really kind of like low poly because I have no idea what this is going to be downloaded to. Later, when we move into Unity or when this engine gets upgraded, there's going to be ability, uh, the, uh, there's going to be ways to modify stuff for higher or lower poly stuff. And even uh, to right now, you can even do it by reloading textures that are higher res, lower res, or replacing um, an asset model in the game. So when you say, uh, hit a button that says low poly or, you know, low res, or you know low quality medium quality high quality you can replace objects right now we're going to keep it kind of simple keep everything kind of like the low res low poly and so we can have this running on anything all right so i'm going to be dealing with blender that's my 3d uh, application that's what i use what i'll be using though to help you guys is this little uh osd um key um Logger. This keeps track of everything that I am pressing. So if I hit E key, it, it tells you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually keep this pretty simple. And I'm going to just basically do a basic um, hallway and you're inside of an uh, elevator. And then when you're done with the level, the elevator doors close and you're done with that level. You're basically trying to get out of this science station where all your friends have turned into zombies. So we're going to uh, use a plane. Now you can do all of this inside of a copper cube. But remember, we want to keep all of the polygons down to the low minimum. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do the hallway. So I have a rectangle. And see, I need to set center, object, snap, center. Go to the top and then just grab it. I, I want to actually set this on the grid. So we're going to go to the side. And we're going to set this right. Actually, um, undo that. We're going to set this down to the ground. Move it so it's in the center. And then just place it. Okay, so I want to make this a pretty long hallway because this is going to be an easy mode. So they will appear and then just come to where you are over here. So I'm going to make the um, elevator floor over here. Actually, let's make 
the frame around the hallway um, elevator door. So a lot of the time I actually like working in wireframe mode. So that's how I usually do stuff. And then I do top down. Alright, and then let's see, I'll keep it like that. I want enough room to where I can hide the doors in it, because they will be there, they will be present all during the time. Um, and then I'll just duplicate that and then I will create a floor extrude it and then they will meet in the middle it's somewhere in the middle I'll just drag these along here there we go okay so we have the elevator doors and now what I want to do is make a little like a little um, area to where the doors will actually look like they're coming out of these again and then they're gonna go down that way there we go okay so I'm gonna go to solid mode okay so these doors need to be a little bit larger so select faces like that select that and that that and let's go up That looks about right. And then let's actually work on the elevator. So I'm going to duplicate this mesh. Size it down. Make that two. Just delete that. Duplicate it. And move it out. We want this separate because we're, we want it to like, even if we don't move the actual elevator down, we want to have that option. We, we never want to kind of like limit ourselves because we can always like, um, like attach it later and then remove extra polygons. But right now it's just easier for us to keep this as a separate entity. So we're now going to create the walls of the actual elevator. We want them about the same height as the um, pillars over here. So right there. And then we'll just move that so it's aligned. And then what I'll actually want to do is create some sort of and like it's a fancy hella, um, well, it's an office one, but I still want to create some sort of arm bar. So I'm actually going to cut it. So we're going to go to the side, we're going to hit K, loop cut, boom. And then we're going to do that one more time. So I go to the side again. I'm going to hit A, select everything, hit loop cut, loop cut. Select everything and then go straight underneath it. And then we want what we want to do is select this face, that face, that face, and then we want to extrude it. Okay, so we're going to hit E again. E again. E 
E again, and there we go. We've got our little arm bars, and we'll edit those a little bit later, but we've got them. Okay, so there's the elevator. Now all we need to do is create the elevator doors. So I'm going to hit Q. Now you could use a double-sided plane for this, but I, I actually want like an actual elevator door. So I'm, I may have some of the zombies actually like try to force their way in. And I want to actually see that. So I'm going to actually hit uh, wire mesh again. And we're going to hit top down view. View is going to be top down. Grab it. Hit side and make this a little bit larger. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to stretch it. So it's about midway point. So when I duplicate this and move it down here, they are in the same area. There we go. Okay. Now to make it the same height. There we go. There's our elevator doors. Now we need the wall for our um, hallway. Now the wall for our hallway, I'm actually going to have, um, it's not going to be a straight up wall. I could just literally just do that and put plaster on it, put a floor, put a ceiling, put some like, you know, business, uh, like, you know, rectangle lights and it would be actually done. I put a, a door at the end that the zombies come out of and they just keep filing out. Um, I actually want to put some doors and some like windows so it actually looks like an office place and probably some uh, computer mo uh, monitors so well, we're gonna do some straight up uh, extruding the walls and then we're gonna edit it from there there we go and then I'll put a door in the middle and I'll just leave it ajar. Cut. I'm going to place it there. Cut it. And put the door there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this area and I'm going to subdivide it. Delete face. So you just hit the delete key. And there you go. All right. So I'm gonna put a door right there, and then I need to put. See, I'm gonna put a door over here, and I put a ceiling on it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna copy the edges. to extend this part. I'm going to hit the E key and then extend it over there. And then what we want to do is extend one side to cover that area so it is a fully functional elevator. We'll just put an elevator pad on it later. All right. So we go into solid mode. We have a basic, you know, rooms, areas, and then um, see. So we'll, we're gonna need a door saw. So I need I need to put a plane there. Now you could put a plane there, or you could just extend one part of the wall. So we're gonna hit top view, angle it a bit. I'm going to select one of the um, walls. And then I'm going to go to top view and just actually you wouldn't have a door right there you would have it right there unless it was a sliding door 
in that case, like, you know, one of those sci-fi doors, but I'm going to leave this kind of office-like. So we're going to go to top view, and then I will just extend it so it's an adjacent door. So if I close it, okay, that matches. I leave it like there. So we can see it. I mean, those zombies are actually going to emerge from it. I'll probably put some sort of like rubble right in front of it. But um, that's going to be it right there. And then I'll put a door frame here in the back. And then we will have a uh, semi finish. I'm going to have actually this, a couple of these walls with textures on them that look like, um, like they're almost transparent glass hall, you know, like office area. And then we're going to have a door in the back. We're going to texture the elevator. Uh, we're going to set some actual like rubble, like building rubble in the hallway. We're going to put some uh, textures on the floor. Uh, we're going to actually import uh, these parts into our game engine and make sure that they run around, make sure that all the collision works properly. And then we're going to be working on the actual game. So modeling it, this was actually pretty nice. Uh, we probably need to put a, add a mesh plane. Actually, what we could do is select that, and since that has a starting point, we're going to say snap to selection, mesh plane. All right, so we're going to go to top view. So in case we want to see any parts of the floor, it doesn't look like an unfinished game. We, hit, we select that. We want to make that wide. There we go. So in case we're actually inside of this room, we can view the carpet say, oh, that, there, there is a room there. Okay, so like I said, in the next part, I'm going to finish up this uh, back door area. So it's basically, you know, a pile of rubble uh, in the doorway, um, zombies crawling over it or through it to get to you. And since this is going to be the easy level, they're kind of slow. So when we when we get back to this, we're gonna basically import all of this into Copper Cube our game engine. Uh, this is after we texture, so we're gonna texture it, export it as a 3ds dot uh, 3ds uh, 3D format. Import it into the game engine, and then in the game engine, retexture everything. Uh, or you know if they import with their texture. Sometimes this game engine doesn't come with the textures you need to actually import all of them and then assign them and then you're good to go assign all the, the collisions make sure our player fits in it make sure uh, we set up some spawning points for the uh, monsters and for the health and for the bonuses and then start working on the actual game because we're gonna have this is kind of like the tutorial first menu uh, not first menu but first level and then we're going to go into the harder level which is kind of a more of an open uh, open scene in the lower area of the building so hopefully you guys you're going to enjoy this tutorial I kind of cover from 3d model creation to the actual exportation exportation and publishing of the game uh, remember to like and subscribe if you would like to see more and comment down below if you would like to see more of this series or something else on the channel until next time guys I'll see you all later